It used to be that the dots of color art technique made famous by impressionist painters like Seurat, Van Gogh, and Pizarro was a vision of beauty. But in the wake of the tragedy of October 7th, the pointillism of modern times is done with emojis to express deep pain and other emotions. We wanted to understand uh, how the uh, Israeli emotions and the sentiment were expressed throughout using emojis uh, in these hard times that we have been through. This joint project by two graduates of Bezalel Art Academy included the most emojis that have been used since October 7th in a colorful eye-opening display. We found it very surprising that the Israeli flag was the most common emoji used throughout the whole time period. It shows a lot of uh, connection to our, to our nation uh, and patriotism. The Jerusalem exhibition is called Simultaneously and points out the multifaceted reality that Israeli society has been grappling with since October 7th. It's all about the, the parallel universe we live, all of us Israelis, uh, since October 7th. Uh, it's, we are, at the same time, we are there, we are in Gaza, we are in wartime, and at the same time, we're here in a kind of an imagined routine. Other works are more chilling. Obviously, many of the students were in, uh, in the military, serving in the military. Others, Israeli Arabs and Palestinians, were at home. The atmosphere and the connection within the community was difficult. This one, called Patch by Michal Harkabi, a graduate of Betzalel's industrial design program, allows art goers to customize their own experience with their choice of bandage colors and sizes. It was very important for me to find a way to make people feel good about their scars, knowing that they see their scar every morning and they know the story and how it was very hurting. This was an extremely difficult year, academic year, and nevertheless, the work is excellent. It's better than ever. 